Hey everybody, Kenny here. So last time we completed our adventure in the palace where we kind of assembled the majority of our party. Like I'm guessing there's going to be two more party members because of the whole tag team thing. But at the end of that, we determined our course to head to the kingdom that the princess is from and to make our way there we need to assemble some provisions so we're going to make some stops doing some I guess I, I want to call them side quests but are they really side quests if the game is telling you you need to do it <laughs> Anyways, that's where we're at so let's get started. All right. Lower my headset a little bit. Let's see. We don't have any new equipment, I don't think. Should we try spending SP? So we haven't tried doing that yet. Let's see. Oh, I see. So you can only use SP if you have enough to actually. Basically, like if the amount needed to level up was equivalent to the amount of SP the character has, then we'd be able to press the level up button and that would do it. Otherwise, you cannot. Understood. And probably makes the most sense to do it for... the class passives. Since by doing... Since with these... Like, we're not really getting anything out of... Like, if we... If I were to master... His innate passives... Then that would just make it that... You know, he gets to keep those. Uh, oh, no. Not that he gets to keep them, but he gets to use them at a higher... At a higher level. But if I were to do these, then that makes it that I can use these and also pass on the class emblem to someone else. But I'm curious if the amount of SP we get going forward is going to drastically increase. Because as is, we have gotten very little SP. I'm curious if that if it's done that way in order to make it feel like there's always progression happening for the player or if it's done that way because you know they didn't want you to try like farming during the start of the game when like later on is just much more uh, viable to do that in like the later areas Okay, that's actually directly in. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I expected that to be another part of town that way. Instead, it's directly into the dungeon. <laughs> I guess it's so that when, like, you know, like if you had gotten to this part and you didn't have one of those pass emblem water things, then you could just run straight in there, go straight to the shrine. Get the emblem and then go back. Yeah, that's probably the idea they had behind that. Hey, newspaper boy. What's going on? If you get a chance to eat a plum from Vadi, go for it. There's nothing better, I swear. Advertising? Me? No, I'm just bored. 
The other children call me a liar and never want to play with me. So boring. Look at that floofy dog. Look how floofy that dog is. Fresh fish. That's a floofy boy. No secrets along here. I have entered your home. Except this time, it's not thievery. Aha! It was thievery when the thief did it, because they're not a hero. But now they are. So nothing matters. The bazaar is a world of its own. Being here makes me forget all the troubles outside. You have a place like this? What? Why are you standing on the bed like that? <laughs> I'm going to take whatever's in your clock here. I took the antidote that you had hidden in your clock. We're, you know... The fact there was an antidote in the clock, I'm very curious if that's going to play a role in whatever's happening right here. Like, like I kind of don't even want to talk to these two because I, because <laughs> like, like I have like this whole like storyline in my head now, where it's like this is some kind of like soap opera drama thing, and like that antidote was there because they're like role playing, uh, like. Uh, <laughs> Like, they were playing, like, one of them being, like, an assassin. And so they, they're they actually going to poison the other one. So they needed that antidote to cure them after they were done role-playing. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to talk to them. It's going to be something very boring. And it's not going to come up again later. But you can always hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dirty pig. Oink, oink. Yep. Boring. <laughs> hey. Get access to this feature now. Cool. What's up, blacksmith? What do you want? Equipment? Have you ordered in advance? No? Then you can forget about it. A huge order came in from the palace this morning. You think a new war is coming? I see. About the anvil in the corner there. Can we borrow it? I do have a bit of blacksmithing experience. Oh, right. I read that. You invented the letterpress machine, right, Sir Victor? You're Sir Victor, huh? I've heard you were in Farnsport. My wife literally eats all of your work. Literally eats all of your work. That's a weird thing to say. I mean, he's a playwright, right? Are they... I mean, I know that a lot of people, like, you know, they use literally and correctly. So I, I don't know if this is one of those cases or if he's actually saying she, like, eats his books. And he meant to use it like a... Like a metaphor, like when she consumes the books. Hmm. If you can handle it, you can use my tools anytime. For a small fee, of course. But I should test your skills first. I don't want you to break my stuff. Go through my house to the backyard and you will find the crystal source there. Upgrade this boy's sword one level and insert a crystal into it. If you can do that, I should trust you with my tools. Crafting one. Upgrade your weapons and armor by using materials found in chests or dropped by monsters. Upgrading weapons and armor raises their stats. You can upgrade each piece twice, shown as a plus and a plus plus. Additionally, the equipment gains more slots to insert bigger and or more crystals into it. 
Oh. Upgrade a Fauchian to a Fauchian Plus. You require... Classes high, two, one Classes Hide and three Mithril Ore. None of which we have. And that is a pitiful upgrade. I mean, it does add an extra crystal slot for whatever crystals do, but... Crafting 2. Gather crystals with passive skills to get into armor and weapons. For example, you can set an attack up crystal into a weapon to have your attack raised while using the weapon. Crystals need to be ranked 3 or higher to be inserted into equipment. What does that mean, though? That mean you have to upgrade the crystals? In order to slot them? Or does that mean that... Oh, fuse crystal. Does that mean this is going to be like a kind of like a gotcha thing where that you're going to have like a rank one and then you got to fuse like two rank ones together to get a rank two and you got to fuse two more rank ones together to get a second rank two so you can fuse two rank twos together to get a rank three? That kind of thing? Hmm. Crystals have ranks. On rank three, the crystal unlocks its passive skill. And can be set into equipment. On rank 5 and 10, this passive skill gets more potent. In order to raise the ranks, you need to combine different crystals of the same passive skill. Yep. I was right. You need two water attack 3s to make one water attack 4. Where are these crystals coming from? We just get them from fighting enemies. Are they going to be regular drops now, or are they going to be very rare? This has me worried. When combining a crystal, you will choose a base crystal and a fuse crystal. You can enter any crystal with a purity of 0, displayed as purity 1 or P1. The resulting crystal will have the base crystal's purity minus 1, will have the rank summed up, will have its size averaged, have its size averaged. I see. If you have a if you have two base crystals they have a purity of four, then that means that the highest they can ever get is three. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, the highest they can ever get is four. So you actually need to get most likely higher bases with higher purities. Well, not higher purities, but higher bases that have purities. So, like, you need to actually find a say, a water attack 4 with a purity of 6 in order to upgrade it all the way to a water attack 10. Which, of course, means that you also need to find... Actually, wait, let's see. Have the rank summed up. Have the size averaged. The base crystal's purity, minus one. Whatever is used as the base is the one that the purity counts for. So if you have one water attack three that has a purity of six, then as long as you get another water attack that has any purity, then each time it'll just make it that you know, you're as long as you're using the one with the higher base each, the higher base purity each time you will be able to raise it higher than you would otherwise okay becomes an artificial crystal marked by an asterisk 
There are crystals that can only be used as base crystals and not as fused crystals. Oh, so that the fact that it says base that says fuse, like that wasn't like part of the system. That was like the that's the actual typing of the item. Like that was designated as a base crystal by the game when it was a when it was acquired, and so it was that one. So that makes things more difficult. So you have to find not you have to not only find a water attack three that has a higher purity. It needs to be a water attack three with a higher purity and that counts as a base crystal. And then the fused crystals don't matter as long as they have any kind of purity. Hmm. Okay. Crafting five. You can set several crystals into a single piece of equipment. You need to consider the amount of slots your equipment. Amount of slots on your equipment, shown as empty circles, and the size of the crystal. Size of the crystal. Can I go back? I can't. Oh, I see. So I'm going to bring my mouse in for a second. We can see with the uh, diffuse crystal here. It gives an attack up three with a purity of one. And you see this little circle right here. This little circle is the size. But because it's one, it occupies a single slot. But you can have fused crystals that have a larger size, meaning that you'll see more than one of these on there. And that's what it was referring to before with the about the size thing. Like they really should have done this before they did the other one, because I can make like that part didn't make sense until I get to this part. Yeah, so let's go and look at that again. Go crafting. I mean, actually, technically, it did show this before. It's just that the size thing didn't come up until we got to here. But no, until we got to here. So the ranks will be summed up. We'll have its size averaged. Okay. So you can have two different water attack threes to have different sizes. And if one of the water attack threes has a, a size of three and the other has a size of one, then you'll get you'll be able to equip it in a size of two when fused. Hello. If you want to buy equipment, I have to disappoint you. This morning, the army showed up and bought all of our entire inventory. If you need weapons and armor, you'll probably have to look outside the city. No worries, fair citizen. We're just going to go into your backyard and get your crystals. Your husband said it's okay. Hello, kitty cat. Bitch switch. Yep. It's an evil cat. You can see the red eyes. So you just had this crystal growing in your backyard, huh? This big ass crystal just like sprung up right there. And nobody's worried about that. Alright. Got two HP ups. Look at our crystals. Oh, we got an HP up one and an HP up two. And they're both size two. That sucks. 
The HP up 1 has a purity of 3. The HP up 2 has a purity of 4. But we can't see... Yeah, we can't see if they're a base or a fusion. But I'm sure because it's a... Tutorial that probably works somehow. Combine. Hmm. Did the tutorial literally lie to us? Like the tutorial said that only like uh, certain crystals can only be base, some can only be fused, but I mean like these can be either. Like there's nothing saying that they could they, they can't be used for either thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure this can't do anything because these aren't of the same ranking. Although they did mention the ranking thing. Was it average? Rank summed up. Okay. So, combining these two would make it three. Mm. Why is the size of three? The size is supposed to be average, right? Will have its size averaged. The average two plus two is four. Four divided by two is two. How can the average of two and two be three? That's what math are they using for that? Because the size is the little dot. What in the goodness gracious? Everything else works the way it says, except for the size. Why is the size wrong? Pretty sure the quest was to use it into the weapon. Craft the crystals and weapons. We have the crystal, right? Yeah, you have three. 
Oh, right, because it has a size of three. So we need to upgrade the sword to be able to fit the crystal into it. Yep, that's what it is. Doesn't cost anything, doesn't have any materials, just gets stronger and gets the extra slot for tutorial purposes. Cool. For the next upgrade, we'll require some sterile mucus. How about upgrading our armor? I guess we can't use it to do anything else until we finish the tutorial. So with that, we will put in this HP 3, HP up 3. Yes, because the tutorial demands it. Hey. Well done. Feel free to use my tools anytime you want. Thanks. Now we can upgrade anything. We only have one weathered bone. Not sure where we got it from. One, one, two. Two, two, two. Yeah, obviously, it's not worth it to upgrade the Gambesons. One, two, two. One, 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 two. Two, one, two, one. Anchors, knuckles, gun spears, amulets. And guns. So we actually have six more party members. Interesting. Seeing all these merchants and sailors makes me want to set out and discover the world for myself. Then again, I get seasick pretty quickly. I'm also not in the best shape. Walk for a few minutes makes me exhausted. Plus, I hate most foods and eat only what my mother prepares for me. And sleeping? Don't even get me started. I need a bed that's twice as big as me. Then it must be dead silent, of course. I guess I should stay home. Yeah, a lot going on, man. How foolish of me buying a house close to the market. I thought it'd be practical, but do you hear the noise? I can't stand it. Got some sage. Wish there was a little mini-map. I do wish there was a mini-map. Hey you, you want to try a plum from Vadi? Yeah, so that's what the, the kid who said everyone calls him a liar said is, re is really good. So the question is, do we trust the kid? My gut says no. But my interest says yes. Alright, that's a hundred arc. 
Expensive? What are you talking about? Of course it's expensive. You should start asking for prices before buying something. Pay up. Yep. <laughs> so did we actually... Is it actually in our inventory now? Let's see. I mean, did we buy it or not? And was it just that, like, you know, like we complained and just, and chose not to buy it because it was hundred? Hello, doggo. We pet all doggo. Half the stuff here is stolen. And half of those merchants are actually pirates. But they are the only ones who set sail for Volandis. So we've learned to live with a lie. So in this section, everyone in the markets claims to be selling fresh fish from our waters, but every time I ca I try to catch something, I only find garbage. What am I doing wrong? This is the only market of its kind in Volandis. Being so close to the free cities in the south allows Farnsport to flourish, relatively speaking. What are you about? Hey, you guys here for some deals? Seems like my reputation as the ultimate dealer is known all over Scania. No? You don't even know what deals are? Oh man! I don't just sell you stuff for money, no. Instead, you sell me your stuff, and if it's something nice, I'll make you a deal. You can sell me anything. Materials, items, collectibles, anything. Give it a try. Get a sea auto horse perch from my boy over there and sell it to me. Deals are special offers you unlock by selling a certain combination of items to any merchant. Once you sell one of the items needed for a deal, you will be notified. The list under deals shows you available I available deals for which you sold at least one item. You can check what remains what remaining items you must sell in order to be able to purchase the deal. Okay, so this is like the uh, Final Fantasy 12 and Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced uh, Bazaar system. This guy, I guess. Boss is teaching you how to use deals, right? How very selfless of him. Let me follow his example. Here, take this Otter House perch for free. Do you need anything? So I sell him the Otter House perch, which... Here, I guess. Yep, there it is. Otter, otter, uh, otter horse perch. Stinky fish. Can't be eaten, and that's why it's free. New deals have been unlocked. Starter pack. Cost nothing. Find collection of items for the upcoming adventure. Obtain the following. Stack sweets and angel wing. Cool. 
The ultimate dealer has taught you everything he knows. Now go on with your adventures, travelers. Okay. Now we can sell stuff. Cool. You should avoid this place and buy your stuff somewhere else. Unless you want something less legal. Are there any actual merchants here? <laughs> I would like to speak to an actual merchant, please. <laughs> hey, kitty. Your eyes aren't red, so I'm guessing you're not going to be angry. Yep. Good kitty. I swear, I saw a monster enveloped in flames heading towards the palace. No one believes me. We got a basement here. That dude's house had a lot going on. Got a raven cloak. The raven cloak increases HP by 10. I'm oh sorry, HP by 15, TP by 10, defense by 13, and mine by 17. Compared to. Actually, easier for you to have him do it. Compared to that, massive upgrade except for the TP. TP is pretty much static. Go back to the blacksmith with that, see what we need to upgrade it. We got whatever was here. Huh. Same, same requirements. That is imbalanced. I mean, has requires more money to upgrade, but... The fact that you need the exact same num amount of materials, even though the Raven's Cloak is clearly superior to the Priest's Cloak. Yeah, so we need some bamboo fiber. Don't know where to get that, but that's what we need. We can go that way. Can we get down there somehow? Yes, here we go. Fawns Port's the perfect stop for goods from the free cities of the north. This makes Fawns Port the wealthiest city in all of Alandis. Even during the worst times, we at least have bread to eat and water to drink. Can't say that about Grapples or Tavern.
Hello, chicken. You're looking ominous over there. What's this place about? Yeah, brother. You see the tail hanging there? That's our boss, the ultimate dealer. He's a special king, he's a special kind of Bjorn. His body needs to stay cool and hydrated. Ah, interesting. So it wasn't a dude wearing some kind of weird fish head costume. It was an actual giant fish. <laughs> Yeah, this room is obviously going to be something later, but not right now. Where is an actual merchant? Nope. Hmm. I love being a man of the sea. When wars break out and, bo and borders are redrawn, we can just find the new port. If things get worse in Flanders again, nothing will keep us here. Got some coconut fibers, but we need bamboo fiber. None of this coconut fiber nonsense. People say we sailors don't have homes. Ha! Huh. They don't know the feeling when we put out to sea. Is that coming home? There's a guy in a little boathouse there. What up, fool? Our foreman is from Galthena. A place on the other side of the world. When a giant fungus spread throughout the land there, it caused a lot of problems. Nasty business, I tell you. The foreman doesn't have good memories of it. Faster, men. We'll load the cargo and then we're out of here. Let Valandis burn without us. What up? Foreman looks pretty strong, but he's the biggest chicken. When we got the news from the palace earlier, he immediately turned tail and couldn't get out of Valandis soon enough. This time of year, the Hood should reach our waters again. Our ship urgently needs new spare parts. The Huge. Where's the Huge at, man? We can't talk to this guy. Riddles. Yo. This part of the city is called the Floating Village. This is where the poorest of the poor live. If you can really call this living. Ramshackle Homes. Hello, Lion Man. The rich cover themselves with perfumes to smell better. But they're only fooling themselves. Down here we know the real stench. You smell all the garbage? That's all washed up here from there. The war doesn't make a difference to us here. We got nothing to eat either. Oh. Got nothing to eat either way. And since we're too sick, we won't be drafting we'll be drafted to the army. Don't ask me if that's a blessing. Not only does the woman in this shack tend to our sick and wounded, but she also takes care of shells. Helping shells is pretty useless, if you ask me. Nothing can rescue them from their fate. That aside, she's also a fortune teller. Strange combination.
Where are these shells? Show them to me. What's up? What up, dudes? Are these people's shells? Why are they called shells? Are these like... Clones? Are these like fake people? Helping people is my passion. That's what everyday heroes do. If you're calling yourself that, then you're probably some kind of really scummy piece of shit. We'll see what's going on. This one's got hair. What do shells do? Got a Bakken. Someday I'll remember that it's not start. So the difference with these. Yeah, so Bakken is just straight stronger. Hey there. Sorry, we're not taking anyone new. I'm not in the mood to... I'm not in the mood for anything, actually. Hmm. I'm curious what this is actually about. Like, is it another system, or... I mean, so here's the thing. Like, I have a theory on what this is. Like, since these are kind of like featureless people like basically like whatever template they use for all of the character models oh not character models all the sprite models like uh like i'm thinking that this is like a custom party member that like at some point we're gonna get a shell and we're going to or maybe we're gonna find out one of these characters is a shell and then we're going to be able to customize it in some way to be like uh, either a party member or like a summon. Like uh, if you ever played, so I don't know if the feature is in the PC version, but in the, in, uh, the DS remake of Final Fantasy 4, there was a special summon that they added for that game. It was basically like it was like. Like, you gave it... It was a summon that... Essentially had an entirely customized skill set. That you made as the player. I'm thinking it might be something like that. Like, you know, like, it isn't like someone who's, like... A regular part of our team. It's like someone that we, like, call in. And they're, like... An, a super overpowered party member. Yeah. I'm probably not super overpowered at the start, but eventually. As we can't do anything with this yet. Yeah, keep pressing back to open up a... Open up, like, a little mini-map or something that... This game doesn't have that. Hey, I know where I am. They say a monster appears in the middle of the royal banquet. Hard to believe, but on the other hand, the amount of monsters has been steadily growing for the past few months. Did I just not notice that I could do that before? Or maybe on the other side. No? Hmm. I'll be back to talk to y'all, folks. I have to go from the other way, though.
Okay, so from this way. Okay, so this is that road. Yeah. We know where we are then. The Chancellor is a man of fast decisions. The Pasta Qatar about uh, the Pasta Qatar is about to be closed. It's a weapon shop or an adventurer's guild? Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> this is the Adventurer's Guild, a place full of capable fighters that can complete any that can complete any dangerous task you have. The higher the mine, the higher your defense against magical attacks. It also raises your healing capabilities. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for this information existing in the game. Although I would have preferred if it existed in a place that players could get to it without having to talk to an NPC in a very much out-of-the-way spot that wasn't actually required for us to go to. <laughs> If the enemy is blind, then his physical attack will always miss. It's a powerful defensive move. Interesting. That is good to know. Blinding is very powerful. Silence hinders the use of magic skills. These are all skills with the yellow icon. Healing magic, for example, still works. Hmm. Can we see that? So silence effi like uh, silence specifically works on debuffs. But not on stuff like Fire Strike, Water Thrust, oh no, no, Yellow Icon. This is orange. So, it works on this stuff. But the green stuff is not affected by... So the green stuff, the buffs, the debuffs, none of those are affected by silence. It specifically targets magic attack skills. Interesting. So does that mean that one of the... One of the status effects in this game... this show all of the satisfacts? Because we have a lot of items that are used for recovering from statuses. Does that mean like, like enact is specifically for, but like silence is for anything with the yellow. So is enact for anything with the red? Or does that affect anything that isn't like you know like or enact like worse like a worse uh, silence? 
Because, like, silence, like... Like, this could be worse. And then enact is... It got worse. Got me wondering now. Your Valor Menuay skill restores techno points, right? You should use it before you run out of TP to help keep you from dangerous situations in battle. Otherwise, if you use a skill right after you've already run out, it won't help much. Do you know about unique monsters? There is only one of each kind in existence throughout the world. Typically, they're stronger than other foes around them, but they also drop special loot, so it's worth a tough battle. You can find two unique monsters in rolling fields. Attack the yak in front of the north gate and leaping the frog in to the north of Basil. If you join the guild, I can share even more information with you. If you have no action in battle, if you have no action available in battle, use an item to either... No, use an item to apply either heavy, dry, oil, or wet to the enemy. So that another character can deal extra damage on their upcoming turn. Oil makes... Enemies more vulnerable to fire attacks, heavy to earth attacks, dry to water attacks, and wet to wind attacks. Forming normal attacks is often your weakest option in combat. Since you're refreshed after each battle, I would advise you concentrate on using skills. You want to join the guild? It has many benefits. You can learn about recent events, have access to a lot of job offers, and even get detailed information about unique monsters. You and your enemy have resistances to status effects. At the start of a fight, you or your enemy resistance is usually zero, so a status effect will normally apply. To apply the same effect a second time, you will need to use it twice. If you plan to even apply it for a third time, you have to use it thrice, and so on. Okay, so you build. So like, uh, when we see poison resistance, how it says it takes one turn longer to apply this element for the first time. Like that means that. Like each time, so like you know, like like you would normally able to apply it on the first turn then again on the third turn then again on the fifth turn no a sixth turn and so on but this would just like push each of those back by one I see. What are you staring at, rookie, huh? What are you staring at, rookie, huh? Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. How can I help you, travelers? We want to go on a journey to Torment. Is there anything we should be aware of? Torment? I'm sorry. Terrible timing. Something happened in the palace last night. Airships and sky armors have been going out all morning. They're even saying that the pass to Cortara will be closed. This is bad. If you hurry, you still might have a chance. Well, we'll be going then. Oh, before you leave, one thing. This info is free this time. Normally, our network information are only available to members of the guild. If you need more information... Or if you're looking for jobs of all kinds, you'd have to join us. Taking a chance to get new recruits. Sorry, but we... And how do you become a member? You're abiding? You have to complete a task from the guild leader. That, that is all. What is a task? Hmm. You want to go to Torment? Currently, no airships are flying. So if you manage to reach Torment on foot, it's enough proof for your skills for me. 
If we're already on our way there, why not take the chance? Here, take this letter. Bring to the leader of the Tormund's Adventurers Guild. May Ragnar's blessing be with you. Okay, so... We learn about the Adventurers Guild, but we don't actually become part of... Part of the Adventurers Guild until we get to the next town. Do you notice some enemies have some sparks around them? I've heard they drop more loot after being killed. Hey. I can't bear it anymore. Our peace our peace prevailed for only one year and now we're at war again? I already paid with my husband with my husband's and son's lives. There's nothing left for me to give. Please, this war must not start. I would even forgive Terran and Gravos. Many of them lost their loved ones as well. Head on the fridge. Terrible tragic fate for this lady. And we take her stuff. We are true heroes, alright? We should avoid soldiers. Fast travel. Over the course of your adventure, you will find fast travel crystals. They unlock destinations for you to tr quick tra quickly travel to. Open the map and then open the fast travel menu to select your destination. You can fast travel from almost any area in Valandis. Did I? Oh, here we go. Do they, they use the Final Fantasy XII? Uh, yeah. Are they, are they, like, <laughs> this game was obviously made by actual proper JRPG fans because they are... Like, they've so far cribbed from Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> Final Fantasy X, I think, was... I, I think I mentioned last time. Oh, no, no. Or was I... It was probably a different game. I think I, that was Onanaki where I mentioned that they must have been inspired by Final Fantasy X. I would love to go on an adventure and see more of this beautiful world. But I'm at a liable age for military service and can't leave. Well, I could leave. What would happen to my family? The neighbors would mock them for their cowardly son. I'll go. If you follow the road, you'll reach the Adventurers Guild. If you know how to swing a sword, you can earn a corner too. Yeah, so I've already been up there. Can't go in here. Why are you hawking stuff from the front of your store? You do anything. I want to sell you my crap, man. Buy it. New deals have unlocked. So for a pack of snacks, I need a capitalist mushroom, a danda panther, and a bitter onion. For dot dot dot, I need fairy wing. A fine collection of items for the upcoming adventure. For everyone who hates dots and your oh everyone who hates dots on your character. Anti dots. So for light armor three, we need more sturdy buckets. And I think we got the buckets from the goblins. Yeah. 
We need to fight more goblins. Includes a single piece of equipment. Great sword three. We need a yak horn. Okay. My girlfriend thinks I'm a coward. I'm going to prove her wrong. Have you heard of these people in the army searching for? I'm going to find and report them. They're a dangerous group of six people who broke into the palace last night. They're made up of two women and four men. One of the women has red hair and another one has... <laughs> I haven't seen anything. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Oh. This is the first time that... <laughs> You're like, I I've, I've pulled this up so many times. And I remember at the beginning of the game, I was like, oh, map is the X button, huh? Okay, like I like I, like I made note of it. I was like, oh, like I'm not used to having to press that for <laughs> for the map. And until just now, I forgot there was a map button. <laughs> we only have the one fast travel location right now. And like you know, like I'm gonna say something and I get it. A lot of people are mad about me saying it, but it, you know, I'm fine. I, I'm fine with it. Like, uh, I personally think that, like, even though like we don't actually have another place we can go to right now, I don't like that we have access to this feature at this point in the game. I think that a feature like this is something that, like, once we have access to like an airship and stuff, then that feature should open up. You know. Vesta. I mean, is it like that panther dude talking to the, the old guy with the big mustache? Would Vesta be panther or the old guy? Hmm. It's a shame. No, worse than that. It's a tragedy. Or maybe it's just this pig guy standing in front of me. I don't know. Let's see who turns. Is everything okay? It was a pig guy. Nothing's okay. The opposite, actually. What's bothering you? The entire situation. I've waited for the right opportunity for so long, and now this... I think you better start from the beginning. Oh, I might as well. My name's Vesa, and I'm a cartographer. I've surveyed Nabrela, sailed with the Baki, and have even sneaked into the Arnsreich. In my notes, I keep all the important information about Odrea together. One of the few places missing is was Philandis. In endless war made me hesitate to come here, but when I heard about the peace treaty a year ago, I could hardly believe my luck. But look around you. Warships are rising, sky armors are patrolling, and the pass to Kratara has been closed. I was lured by peace only to be created by a new war. They've closed the border? That was fast. Do not worry, my dear Vesta. Maybe we can help you. My ears playing tricks? I could recognize this spacey, this spacey voice even between a pack of grumpy pirates. It's you for Victor, my friend. Alive and breathing. The last time we met, we've been counting the vineyards and free cities for your book. If I recall correctly, we didn't get any further than, that, than one. If I'm offered a bottle of Arcadian wine, I can't say no. <laughs> now this lines up my mood a bit. So you really want to hand me a helping paw? I would pay you, of course. Truth be told, we have another trip coming up. So we might as well help you out a bit. Do we have time for this, Sir Victor? If we are paid for the effort, is... 
If we are paid and the effort is reasonable, why not? That would be wonderful. You know, the Guild of Cartographers often works with volunteers. That's why we've created this reward board. Not only do we want the measure of the land, we also want to learn more about Valandis, flora and fauna. And for this purpose, we've put some tasks on this board. If you complete them, you'll be richly rewarded. This is so exciting. I wish you would have come sooner to Valandis. I would have loved to have traveled with you. That's nice of you to say. Oh, there's one more thing I have to mention. Come out into the fields with me. I'll explain it in detail. Reward board. The reward board has several tasks for you to tackle and numerous rewards to earn. When entering certain areas, new parts of the board are unlocked. Each field represents a task. Once the task is finished, you can claim your reward. Furthermore, finished tasks... Finished task fields that are adjacent to another will make up a chain. You'll earn extra rewards for the length of your longest chain. You can quickly access the reward board by pressing right trigger. Okay, so we only have access to it outside. Got some beast pelts. 